And so there I was, two almost fully naked buff men standing in front of me, arm wrestling for my honor. Monster Hunter multiplayer gets really weird. Zook, come on! No! Oh, yes. You did, you did all right. You did all right. Hiji Hunts. Welcome back to another Monster Hunter journal where I document my entire journey through Monster Hunter world as a player who's never really played Monster Hunter. If you like that kind of stuff, be sure to subscribe and like the video and maybe share it with a friend or two. Today we're going to be talking about the latest experience, which is multiplayer. Uh, so if you are not familiar, every Thursday I stream uh, about four hours of my playthrough of Monster Hunter World where we progress through um, the, the story and the monsters that we kill in the game. And then on weekends we do a grind stream. So last time we completed Anjanath and this weekend was our first attempt at uh, pretty much grinding the Anjanath armor set. I did not want to do that alone after the stress that was Anjanath. So we brought in some friends. We opened up the stream to uh, be multiplayer. Now that was a whole logistical feat in and of itself when you're talking about hundreds of viewers and you can only play with three at a time. But we did it. Shout out to the mod, shout out to the community for being patient and getting over the hurdle of our first multiplayer journey. And what uh, what an interesting experience it is. I absolutely love the little social gimmicks, not really gimmicks, little social features that they have. The fact that you can actually arm wrestle, as I mentioned earlier, uh, was fun. I won once, I lost twice, so I gotta really step up my, my arm wrestling game. I got drunk by myself, and then I talked to the wrong lady and things uh, things didn't go so well. So I, I landed completely like on my back because I drank so much. Um, that was fun. Classy was ashamed of me. He did not. He was going to disown me right then and there. I don't think I've ever brought so much shame to my cat. I felt a little bad. So we might hold off on the drinking for a little while. It was really cool seeing everyone's cosmetics. So for the sake of multiplayer, the rules were you can have any fun cosmetics. I think those are the rules. The mods kind of enforce them. Uh, or you had to wear Anjanath armor or less. Uh, anything I had been before. So just kind of seeing like I saw a Moogle in there. I saw some really cool uh, Palico costumes. You know, I know they're called Palicos. We're going to call them cats. Like it's, it's just so much cuter to say cats. Saw a lot of naked people. Mostly saw naked people. Uh, but there's some very interesting... Uh, gear that I saw, some cosmetics that make me want to just get to that part of the game so I can start being stylish and showing off and flexing and putting in my gestures and I can be social with everyone else. So as an outsider, I always thought Monster Hunter was a failed MMO. Like I always saw the game and heard that it was always better to play it itself, uh, play it with others, I mean. And I could see the MMO elements, but I was like, why, why is it like on consoles and why is it work as a single player game should it be played as a single player game should it be played as a multiplayer game and the answer is really it's both personally i think i prefer playing it as single player specifically when it comes to hunting and uh doing my first monsters i like doing that alone uh, but when it comes to time to grind and just have some fun that part is quite fun with multiplayer it's really completely different it brings so much more like uniqueness and life to the game um that was fun so I did quite a bit with the multiplayer journey, and we're going to talk about some of the things I did. Uh, the first thing that I have to say is I, I killed so many Anjanaths, I think we're going to get that species extinct. So of course the goal was to grind out the armor. Uh, we got the whole armor set, we got the switch axe of Anjanath, we got everything. There was even an event quest which had two Anjanaths, so we could double the Anjanath, double the fun. I've killed him so many times, all that fear I had from him on Thursday, gone. Now that said, you know, I was wailing on this guy with three other people, so maybe I was skewed a little bit. But honestly, he did not feel that dangerous. I felt like I, I had seen his attacks so many times at this point, I could just kind of dodge. My attacks weren't always kind of the best execution, but I didn't feel threatened like I did on Thursday. So that was progress. Stuff got crazy too. At one point there were two Anjanaths fighting the four hunters and then a Rathalos came in. So there was a Rathalos, two Anjanaths, three like experienced monsters. And I'm just in the back with my sword. I'm just like, oh, what do I do? Who do I attack? And it was madness and chaos. And I was so scared. We did not kill the Rathalos. We held the hunters on our code of not progressing and killing new things on weekend streams. We did we did break its tail though, so I harvested a little bit of Rathalos' tail, but we did not kill Rathalos. Uh, I also went back and saw a whole bunch of different ways to kind of fight 
uh, different creatures. I saw other hunters use kind of like these bomb barrels on a sleeping Anjanath and uh, then we can like trigger that and blow it up. We got to capture a lot. So before we got into the multiplayer madness, I uh, did a capture quest. So I learned how to capture, went against that. What's it called? What's it called? I don't want to get it wrong again. Bird up. That's the meme, bird up. Uh, we went against our, our whatever his name is. And uh, what a what a difference. I, me as a player, how much I've experienced. I felt in total control of that fight. I was able to position myself, grab a rock. I'd be like, boom, throw a rock at his rock, make him drop his rock. Uh, I just felt like I controlled that fight entirely. I'm still not quite natural when it comes to trapping. Like I tried to trap my own Anjanath during a fight and I put the trap in the wrong place and it was a complete waste. So I still need to practice capturing uh, monsters on my own a little bit more to get the hang of it. Um, we got our first failed quests. So there was quite a few firsts. Unfortunately, one of the quests was to, uh, I think it was, it's called the Baroth. We were supposed to capture it. We got a little, we got a little excited and we, we killed it. So that was a failed quest. And that's why you now see a one on the failed quest counter. I blame it to overly eager hunters. I saw, uh, we went back and we fought Toby a few times and I saw like the hunters were just so coordinated and using like all these sleep bombs and like, I guess this is how you like attack him. So Toby was asleep half the time. It made for a really boring fight, but a very effective fight. I think we killed him in like three minutes. And I was like, oh, oh, this is what it looks like when you know what you're doing in this game. I see. Um, as far as I know, all the hunters were wearing low rank gear. So I don't think it was a, a rank thing, I, uh, a rank a gear a high level rank gear that made the fights quick i think it was just the fact that all these hunters have killed these monsters probably hundreds of times they know what they're doing and i was just kind of wailing in the back kind of doing my own thing uh lastly i figured i'd take the chance to play with a bunch of different weapons kind of on the go so i went back with the hammer because we needed to break anjanath's face to get some of the parts from his face and i had some fun with the hammer where am i where's my hammer crew at man this hammer I underestimated the power of the bunk because when you're actually running and charging with the hammer, it feels quick. I have to say, like, my whole perspective in this game has really changed where I feel everything moves a lot quicker. Like, you guys remember, two weeks ago, I was like, this game is clunky. Everything is clunky. Now I'm like, oh, everything is so smooth. Why is, why is it moving so fast? And it's not the game. It's the player. It's the perception. And I know this is what you guys say. He's getting it. He's clicking. This is what happens. The player levels up, not the hunter. It's a really cool experience. And I'm, I'm kind of really happy I'm documenting this. So the hammer was fun. I love charging it and just like spinning it. And then there's one where you're like flipping the air and you just bash Anjanath's face with it. Hammer felt good. It's it's not it, it's one I want to use sparingly. I don't want to main with the hammer, but when when we need some bonks, I'm really happy to pull out a hammer and bonk the night away. Uh, the insect glaive we tried at one point that was a total mess. I did not study up on how to use the insect glaive and this whole thing about an insect and the fact that you have to use buffs. Uh, what I did like was I was like flying in the air all the time when I was actually buffed properly, but otherwise I did not know what I was doing. That's a that's a weapon I need a little bit more time to get the learning curve up. We went brave and we went back with the iconic greatsword knowing it was slow. And that happened to be the fight where there was the two Anjanaths and the Rathalos. And at one point, I think I pulled off a really cool combo because the whole chat went like, oh, he did it, he did it. And it felt good and it looked good. Like I charged it up and I like smack, swing, flip, smack, and like just so much damage on Rathalos. I was like, okay, this is fun. Again, I, would, I don't think I would main the greatsword, but pulling it out, from time to time just to have fun with like these really like slow blows and i was also getting the hang of like you swing you roll and then you sheath like i was finding a way to make it kind of smooth so i could make the great sword work the dual blades did what the dual blades do again they don't bring me satisfaction they are fast i think i want to get yeah i want to get a toby with it and uh, they do what they do, you know, you just, you just on everything. I'm not a big fan of that play style, so I don't think I'll be doing too much dual blades. And then I went back, we got the sword and shield, brought back my old, my, my first love, the sword and shield. And I think we went against a Toby or it was Anjanath with the sword and shield. And it felt, it felt so fast, but also it felt so 
less special than my Switch Axe. The Switch Axe is still the one. Right now, if I have to rank with the weapons I've played, the Switch Axe I love because it has that morphing thing halfway through. And that thing just like, just scratches a special itch. And then the hammer, I think the hammer has really like gained a lot of popularity points this weekend. The bonk, the bonks are where it's at. Hammer's in second place. Sword and Shield is in third place now. Sorry, Sword and Shield, you are losing some love, but you will always have been my first love. And the rest are kind of just everywhere else. I didn't really play any of the other ones. Uh, so that was my experience. Overall was good. The community was fantastic. Everyone was pretty good to kind of like listen to the rules. Uh, everyone was kind of letting me lead at first. No, we, we had a hunting horn at one time. Oh, I also learned about the whole like, you can actually hit your teammates to launch them up in the air. And I realized like at one point I was in the air, I'm like, what happens if I like hit this button? Oh, I can actually like attack from the air. So I can just now start thinking of how crazy like the combos of a coordinated team, like where you probably have voice chat, you're like, all right, launch me up and then you can do stuff. Those fights must be really cool to pull off. Um, so that's still in the distance, that, that sort of like athlet, uh, athletic pull, like hunt. Um, I'm just excited that I really got to kind of familiarize myself. Oh, and just the fact that we did so many hunts at this time, it's turning into clockwork where I'm like, yep, quest, eat, box, uh, item box, let's go. I know my way around the village. Everything is starting to like feel very fluid, feels very at home. So now we can actually focus on, okay, like a lot of the times now I'm not really focusing on the controls uh, of the basic controls. It's really, how is this monster moving and how can I make this fight a spectacle? Like, how can I make this look cool? And I'm doing that while still trying to figure out how to do all the combos and stuff. So that was my first experience with multiplayer. It's been pretty good so far. We have a lot to improve on when it comes to multiplayer on our Twitch streams. Uh, the mods and I are working on that. I can't guarantee you when we're gonna have it smooth. It's a process. We're gonna get there. It's gonna improve. Uh, we're gonna be doing these multiplayer grind streams spontaneously on weekends. It's a good way for me to kind of get to play with you guys, get to know the community, for all of us to just kind of get together, have fun. Um, so Thursdays are still the same, solo progression, and then weekend rinds, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to keep going on this journey. A lot of you have been asking, Iceborne, is it on the menu yet? It's looking tantalizing. Monster Hunter Rise, is it on the menu yet? Not sure on that one. Um, I would get Iceborne before Monster Hunter Rise at this point. A few more weeks, I'm going to try the Monster Hunter Rise demo a few more times once, you know, I get that. I'm getting to the point where I feel I'm experienced enough. I can revisit the demo with a new perspective. We're gonna go and revisit my initial thoughts from the Monster, uh, Monster Hunter Rise demo, uh, which were not so well received the first time. I'll see you on the next journal, and until next time, keep it classy.